Now, in terms of formatting individual pieces of information within a pivot table, you can normally, the way you click on things, you get various different sorts of arrows. So, appear. So, by clicking on there, for example, you'll see all of those headers have highlighted. So, I could literally just change the color of those. Perhaps we'll go for, say, this, this color here. We'll do something like that. And that will preserve on format as well. If we refresh that. It could be you could multiple click on several items, sort of at random, and make the text red, for example. Again, as long that will refresh, that will stay the same. But I'm just actually going to undo that. Now, if you put the buttons back on, sorry, uh, the field buttons, one thing we can do is uh, collapse it all. So let's just uh, expand, collapse, uh, collapse the entire field. If we remove the blank rows for the moment, we can click on that, highlight them all together, as long as we're only expecting to highlight visible cells, which incidentally can do by doing Control G, Special, Visible Cells Only. You can then re uh, change those to any anything you want. So, I don't know, what, should, what do you reckon, maybe We'll go with like a very dark grey, for example. And then we'll go and uh, expand everything. And now we have like this kind of st <laughs> rather strange looking pivot table, but it illustrates the point. And we should be able to actually get onto all of these totals as well. Do that. And at the same time, maybe we'll change those ones back. So there, that's the other thing we could do as well. Grand total would look way better if that had maybe a very dark blue finish on it. Something like that with white text. Make those bold. It looks like we need now need to widen that slightly. So all of this again is staying true when you hit refresh and then we can take buttons back off now we've used them for example. So yeah, you can highlight basically as soon as you've got that setting say preserve cell formatting, you can format it as if it's any other part of the spreadsheet. And we'll put some blank rows back in. I think that's actually looking like a pretty darn good report. So don't forget you can download the spreadsheet by clicking on the link in the description. You can work for all of this or just have ready-made examples. Make sure you check out the other videos on App for Excel. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon as well to get notified of the next videos coming out and I'll see you soon.